Hey, what's up? Come on in. What's going on, guys? I'm Brent from Marina Gaming. You could also know me as Goomba. And this is Brent Pazzo. Let's take a look around. Pretty much the, uh, you know, we'll kind of use it as like a reception area, but it also doubles as like a game poker table kind of thing. You know, we got uh, a bunch of people coming by, always got to have the poker chips. Got like four or five cases of poker chips, play a lot of poker, you know, a lot of fun there. Uh, got to have the Yankee candles too, got to keep it smelling fresh. Uh, but yeah, no, this is really fun because, you know, you have the people over, sit down, eat, set up laptops here, do studio work, you know, people can do whatever they want. Uh, it's pretty much this is an all-purpose table. The nice part about it is too, it's on the other side, like I said, you got that nice green felt. Ooh, try to slide real nice on that. Uh, play a lot of poker, as you can see. Got a lot of fishing family, gotta throw that out. BP, Brent Pazzo, that's what they call this place. Yeah, so like, you know, the table, it's a lot of fun. Play a lot of, like I said, started with poker. I uh, used to have tons of poker tournaments as a kid. It was always fun to kind of battle your friends and see who could win each other's lunch money and that whole thing. And just kind of kept growing and growing and growing. And, you know, we used to have just crazy card games down here. Everyone from the neighborhood come over and get that going. Uh, you know, some of the other fun things we did, you know, played, uh, played got to throw some magic down. Uh, picked up magic about two years ago. That's kind of fun to play a black deck. But yeah, that's too nerdy for some people. But any of you guys that are playing walkers, I'll throw it down with y'all. Yeah, Master Chief. This guy's a legend. This guy is like my ultimate hero. Like little kids some days grow up, you know, they're like, oh man, Superman's my hero. Or, I want to be, you know, Captain America. No, this guy, that's who I want. Got a nice little lounge table here. Uh, you know, I got the snacks, got to pe feed people. You know, keep them, keep them going. We got peanut butter and crackers and pretzels and cheeses and goldfish and all that. There's the Halo montage, but that started, well, the Halo collage, I will say, um, but I call it a montage because obviously Halo purposes. But uh, you know, working at Best Buy, picked up a lot of these just random signs. You know, I'd see them on the store and just be like, "Hey, I want to take this home." They said, "Just write your name on it; it's yours." So I just grabbed the damn thing, and you saw I got a freaking Noble Six sitting in the corner. That thing's like seven feet tall. That's pretty awesome. I mean, not a lot of people have these because these are kind of like custom posters, I guess. And like I said, I got a lot of the Call of Duty stuff too, but I really like that Halo collage. Um, it needs a little bit more work, so I mean, if I don't know, I need some uh, some different posters. Definitely need a Halo 2 poster. That's what's kind of lacking. The Star Wars pinball machine. That thing's always fun. I mean, shoot at the Death Star. R2D2 bounces up and down. Love Star Wars. Got my lightsaber back there. Got the. Uh, we got Old Republic. That was a tight game. Played that for a while. Um, and then we move into the studio aspect of it, which. Pretty uh, pretty ridiculous setup I got here. Uh, this is kind of Spice Studios headquarters. Started off as Studio Z. Uh, pretty cool things. We got the GX Roland. We got you know the mini pianos. You got the DJ gear over there because you gotta think you know music's in analog and digital. You you gotta record both sides of it. So it's like you got the digital table. You got the analog over here. I uh, got three computers running on the rig. Home server down there. In the bottom, we got the, uh, the green Mac Daddy thing. And then there's the whole studio side of me. I mean, music's something that just came to me. I mean, I, I can't even describe it. I just, since I was a, I can't even remember. Just anything with a, with a beat, anything that was kind of clicking, anything that was tapping, I just needed to be a part of it. Needed to be making that noise. Um, you know, started playing piano and taught myself basically everything else. Guitar, DJ, drums. Um, production, uh, oh my god, mastering, mixing, recording, leveling, everything, everything you can imagine. I just taught myself because I just had that drive and that keen eye and that just, or keen ear I should say, uh, just, just needed to go for it. And I, I, There hasn't been a moment where I've come across a piano or an instrument or something that makes noise where I haven't tried to play it no matter where it is, uh, whether it's on a main stage somewhere. I mean, I've snuck in, broke into the main auditorium at U of I. Uh, and played at the Craner Center, played a big grand piano there, and that just, just that sound, just, ah, I can't even describe it. But yeah, that's where, and that's where Spy Studios kind of comes in too. That's, this is where I kind of do my business on that, and I had more of the audio production side of that. I said whether it's digital or analog, I work with tons of artists, and, and I just do it because 
there's just a joy I get about the creation of this music because it, it's, it's truly the inner passion of people coming out and, and that's something that I think is absolutely brilliant because it's one of the only channels and forms of communication where people are unbiased and it's they're just almost, it, it, it's the purest form. Well, we, the pure comes to mind, we'll use that word. So we got the DJ turntables here, you know, mix it up a little bit. Usually run uh, tractor, sometimes rocking Ableton with a launch pad and all that too. That launch pad thing's fun. Man, you could just go work in on that thing. You just break up a song and just, oh man, you, you, you make a instrument out of a part of a song. You take a song and make a bunch of instruments out of it. It's crazy what you can do in Ableton. And you got the MPD 26. This is more for the tractor, like I said, doing the effects. Uh, Big Black, yeah, TSP Black, or uh, yeah, you guys know him on the from AGL commentator, he uses this thing, makes some beats with that, uh, rocking the mixer too. Uh, but powering it on, man, you got the speakers. We got the Behringer, uh, the big boy. This is the main speaker system, but you know, you gotta think this place, they call it Brent Plaza. We have a lot of parties down here, so you gotta have a lot of speakers. So essentially, we got speakers here, 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 and a sub. So as you can see, you know, we're Sox fans, got a lot of Sox stuff. Gotta call that out. Got the Maglio Ordonia signed jersey. You know, got the Rally socks. Got when they won the World Series and all that. Uh, JD, MVP, he was my favorite player. Uh, Frank Thomas, Big Hurt, kind of grew up watching him. Uh, and we got the uh, ball collection too, the whole World Series team. Some pennants, but these are the cool things. We got the World Series bats. Uh, these are pretty tight. Uh, this one's pretty awesome here, you know, I used to play a little ball myself. Uh, it was a pitcher, you know, some fun. Had a good swing though. Yeah, this one's pretty cool, it's got my dad's name engraved. So pretty badass. Uh, and then that leads us into kind of the center of the party room, the main beer pong area. Uh, as you can see, TSP, uh, I represent, started this off, we all designed this table, you know, painted it the way it needed to be done. Uh, really cool too, you know, Glows in the glows in the dark, and the thing about it too is we had everybody everybody signs it. So it's like when you come over, you play on the table, you get to sign the table. We, Spy Studios was kind of created and formed by this band of people called Team Spy Plane, which I mean the history of that is epic and legendary. But it just kind of crafted us to all come together and want to have these awesome parties. And it was kind of cool to be able to like party with your friends. I don't know how to describe it. It was like. I don't know, I know. We, we, none of us went off to college, so here's our take on a sorority slash fraternity, but like, we play video games and just go crazy, like, we, I, don't, I don't know what else to say about that, but like I said, we, we just go ham, and it's fun, we love the music, and that's where a lot of our DJing side comes in, that's why we're working a lot with them more, the, uh, you know, like studio work with uh, the digital production and performing live, we love just having all the DJs come out and perform, that's why, you know, we just, Rage, kind of to put on a little show for them. So I know this bass making it pretty, pretty wicked sometimes. Which brings us to the call it the Call of Duty corner. As you can see, the decor kind of fits in. Got all the Call of Duty stuff laying around. Still got shout out to the Halo stuff. I said Master Chief, Noble Team, the Halo Reach book. That's a good book. I should try reading it someday. Anyways, uh, which brings us to my main rig, uh, equipped with three TVs. You got the 55-inch uh, Toshiba DLP, crazy on that. You got the Vizio, and you got the 32-inch uh, Vizio, and then you got the 24-inch Sony PS3 display, two millisecond response LED, all the good stuff. A little bit bigger than your traditional gaming monitor, but hey, just allows me to sit a little bit farther back on a comfortable couch. Call it the fish couch. So right, you got the Halo 4 Xbox, rocking Halo 4, of course. We just jump on in here. We got the, uh, this is the best part about my rig right here, man, the Astro A40s. This thing's in the mix amp. You put these on and you just like enter that world. Man, like the whole, everything shuts out and you just become whatever you're doing. It's amazing. And the surround sound of these things are sick. I used to use these to DJ too, but I didn't want to break them. So maybe one day. Got the Google NEX7. I uh, use the AGL timer app on that, checking Twitter, checking Facebook, whatever's going on. You know, keeping in touch with my peeps, it's all to touch my fingers. And obviously you got the computer over here too. This is this mainstream computer. Run an XSplit on that. Got the Howl Peg. And that's how we jump it up on the stream, Twitch TV, slash Spy Studios. 
Yeah, so I said so the best part about it is probably that there's the three monitors. Uh, so that way, you know, no matter what game you want to play, you'll be able to get, you know, the right size screen. Because you know what I mean? Like some games you want to play on different size screens. You play Halo, you play on a small monitor. You're going to play, um, like Madden, dude, you're gonna wanna play that on a big one. Cause like nobody wants to play Madden where the football players are that big. The other thing is, it's like, dude, you don't wanna play Halo 4 where freaking Master Chief or, or is like, you know, enormous because go try, go to matchmaking. Try to play Halo 4 on like a 60 inch screen. Tell me how it feels like. I gotta tell you the truth, there's really nothing more I love than coming home from work or coming home from a long day and just throwing on those Astros and just firing up Halo. I mean, it's, it's one of the greatest things, I don't know, it's one of the greatest releases anybody can have. I mean, some people say they like to go running, or, you know, I like to do this, or I like to paint, I like to draw. I mean, there's nothing more satisfying than jumping into a game and just absolutely destroying kids. Or just playing those tight, custom games with your friends where you're going 4v4 simplex CTF or something like that, and you're just screaming at each other. And for those 15 minutes of that game, you are just mortal enemies. And you will do anything in your power to destroy and overcome and kill and beat your opponent, even though they're your brother or your best friend. And nothing else in the world does that to things. And I think, I don't know, it's just, it's just crazy. I mean, it was never really on the competitive circuit, but just always just had a passion for the game. So here brings us to the... Uh Call it the library. Pretty much got every like CD, DVD, and Xbox game that you need to survive in life, which is pretty cool. I uh, got all the Halos, obviously, Left 4 Dead, Guitar Hero Metallica, that was a fun one. Knights of the Old Republic, Mass Effect, that was crazy. Child of Eden, that's a cool game. If you've ever played Child of Eden, if you get to connect, play Child of Eden, because that is a really fun game to play. It's trippy. Um, Forza Motorsports, Soul Calibur. I've just gotten into these two. These two are my new ones. My, uh, these are my dirty little, little obsessions here. Fighting games. I love kicking the shit out of people. We love Halo and just, that's definitely by far just the greatest game ever since Halo, Halo 1 came out. Halo, back in the day, I remember when, um, we got that original Xbox. Uh, me and my brother, we just jumped on Halo. I mean, it was the first game we saw and it really was, my dad brought it home. I remember. I can't can never forget this moment. And we looked at him. We had a few games, and you know, we were able to choose. He's like, "I'll give you one game with the box," because obviously we were young. We didn't go to school the next morning, so we picked Halo because it's at two players, and we both picked up the controllers. And I mean, because that was the first time that we had that co-op experience. Because I mean, before then, it was just N64 for us, which you know, GoldenEye is fun, but you're not playing with your bro going to take on the whole Covenant Armada. And as that was a really cool moment for me really bonded with my brother and like I said it kind of I don't know kind of I guess solidified Halo as a part of my history and my upcoming and my whatever I am my being per se I mean so that pretty much sums it all up a uh, little tour of Brent Pazzo hopefully one day you guys check it out and like I said we throw some pretty serious parties down here get the land set up get everyone's Xboxes hooked up get them all running but now hate to say this for you guys but it's time for you guys to get the fuck out of my basement.